Today I'm going to get you set up with Zoom on your Echo Show devices. There are a couple of things that you need in place before you can use Zoom with your Echo Shows. And the first one is the type of Echo Show that you own. You have to own an Echo Show 8. And you also have to set your language to English United States. And you will have to have an IP address inside of North America in order to do that. Open Zoom. Here's Zoom. Now, once you have that screen open, there are three things that you can do right off the bat that you can just use to test out the system or to actually use the system. And the first one is to start a test meeting. And this will get you familiar with the interface as you work through it. You can also join any meeting that is already getting started or just about to get started. And then you wait in the waiting room essentially until someone let you in. Now, the other thing is the whiteboard, which you can just give to a kid. I think that's the most useful thing at this point. But then the other choice here is to sign into a Zoom account that you already have. And I think if you have a Zoom account, then you already know what you're doing with that. But the basic interface, we're going to do a walkthrough. And then I'm going to show you how to connect this to your calendar inside of Amazon's Miss A application. And then that will allow you to say to Miss A, join my meeting. And then you actually just join whatever is in your calendar. Let's do a basic walkthrough of the interface. Now there are a mute microphone and a closed camera button at the bottom. Of course with the Echo Show 8 you actually have that physical switch on the top. Now when you hit the three little dots there's a much larger menu here. Again you get the ability to mute, stop your video and there's a share content button but that's not going to work here. The next thing is to adjust what you're showing but again this content is not yet working on the Echo Show. So really, you don't have a lot of options. Now, the built-in camera, you can actually change the mirror effect on this, and I expect you to get more controls here for moving when we get better camera versions on the Echo Shows. There is a participants list so you can see who's there and you can check on non-video participants as well. And then when you hit the more button, there's a start recording, but you're only going to have that available to you if you're running off of your actual Zoom account and you've paid for that service. Now, you can do tests on your microphone and on your speaker as well to make sure that the volumes are at the right level for yourself here. You can see the chat section and you have the ability to show those notifications on screen from the chat window or from the people in the chat section there. Now, your last thing is you can hit the whiteboard if that has been enabled in your meeting. And finally, you can tap this little eye next to the name of your meeting and you get a little more information if you need to share that out to someone. Otherwise, there's the leave button and you're done the basic walkthrough. Now, let's get you set up to just be able to say, Miss A, join my meeting. Inside of the more section in the app, plus you go into settings and then you'll have to scroll down and find calendar and email. Now once inside of there, you might already have something connected and you can see that I do. I have a Google account, but you'll need to add an account if you've never done that. You can add any of the four services here and then you will be able to connect the calendar and the email. Now when I tapped on one of those, I hit the plus, it gave me the option to connect both my email and calendar and that's exactly what you want to do for this to work. Inside of Zoom I'm going to show you how you can get the invitation the right way because there is a requirement. Now you can see that you can add it to your own personal calendar once you've created this but maybe the easiest way to get an invitation set up to send to someone else if you're trying to set this up for them is to 
copy that invitation and you can just grab all of that text and that's what you're going to send in the text part of your invitation. So hit that copy button and then switch over to whatever you're using to send the invitation. But one of the requirements is that that location actually has the full URL with the password in it. And then you're going to need that other component in the description. And this goes into the calendar that you've connected to Miss A. Now you can see here is a test meeting that I've done inside of my Echo Show and I can tap on that and it has all of that information. You can see the location is filled out and the notes are filled out as well. This allows you to do this with your Echo Show 8. Join my meeting. Do you want to join the meeting test meeting? Yes. Okay. After you've done all this, what you're going to want are some other options for video calling as well as using your Echo Show for more. So go check out the newest updates and features video available for your Amazon Echo Show. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.